Hallo, meine lieben Freunde, was geht, was geht, was ist los, was guten Abend, guten Tag. Es ist dein Lieblings YouTuber James Brain, which I go heute auf. Uh, seven differences between American and German housing. Um, so, obviously, a lot of people have been asking me, uh, James, do you ever plan on living in Germany? And I always say, mm, probably not, just because of the tax situation out there. But if I decided to change my mind, which is a very high possibility, um, I do want to see what the major differences in the housing is from an American perspective living in Germany. And actually, what better way to look at this other than uh, this wonderful couple here? They're called uh, the, the Always Home. Um, the always home and basically uh they're a couple that i believe lives in germany uh from what it says from the title and stuff like that so we're gonna be checking this out if you guys are new here will come if you guys are returning viewers will come and up we post videos every single day in time all i ask is that you guys abonnee it these i'm kind of on like the video bits of feeling but thankful oh yeah just took some dust but let me feel um i'm learning german reacting to all things german right now and um occasionally throwing some random content on here gonna be doing cooking videos soon because everybody wants me to start cooking stuff up in the kitchen so that's gonna be that's gonna be something there's and um yeah let's go ahead and uh dive those deep into this thing and see exactly what they have to say uh and honestly if you guys agree or disagree let me know in the comments down below i'm gonna be looking at the comments i'm gonna be responding I'm gonna be uh, keeping like a little a little thing in my head because I will be making a video on what I've learned honestly so far um, after a year and a half of doing content like this. This is very int quite interesting. I've dived pretty deep into uh, the depths of Germany. Los geht's! What's up, you guys? Welcome back to our channel. We are Americans currently living in Germany, so we thought it would be a fun video to compare the differences between German housing and American housing. American housing is not it, man. It depends on where you are, but for the most part, American housing, it's okay. Actually, our American housing is dope. I I, I take that back. We got air conditioning. Y'all don't. Straight up. Let's go. Anything <laughs> else? That's pretty much the gist of it. That's pretty much the gist of it. All right, without further ado, let's roll the footage. The windows, bro. Here we go. Okay, so when we first moved here, we were touring houses with our realtor looking for somewhere to live. And Zach went up to one of the windows just trying to test things out and he did this. Oh wait, no, he didn't do that. Wait, 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 wait. Shoot, I did it again. Dang. Dang. Let's try that again. Take two. Zach goes up to one of the windows and he does this. So we turn to the handle, right? Keeps turning, keeps turning, it goes all the way up, and the top popped open. He, he probably thought the window was gonna fall on him. He's like, ah, 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 ah. And They're like, yo, chill out, bro. All of our windows open up like that. Like the fact that, that's actually what I forgot. Your windows open up in two different ways? Two different ways? I thought they only opened up like this. I didn't realize they opened out too. That's insane, bro. That means your windows are held together by a thin thread. Like they could fall apart at any time. Um, I've made I've mentioned this in a video before, actually several videos where people talk about the window differences. Because we trust me, we've been reacting to a lot of different people who have uh, shared their differences in Germany, like between Germany and America or Germany and Canada, and da da da. The biggest one is the windows and stuff like that, right? But I always have said, and I'm gonna ask again. How do y'all not get whole uh, birds and, and big creatures like Loch Ness monsters and stuff like that crawling in your house when the window opens up like that and it doesn't seem like there's a screen on the outside? Like, that's weird. Hey, but I have a friend in Dortmund uh, and she uh, she showed me the the windows and stuff out there. So on the outside of, the, of some of the windows, you guys have these outdoor blinds. Like you can like pull them and shit like that and like it kind of closes. Like, and also I think they, one couple mentioned this uh, a few years ago that I reacted to and um, I, I think that's the thing but is that for every house or is that just a few houses if you guys know what I'm talking about there's blinds they're like metal shears on the outside of uh, the window but they're on the outside of the house as well and there's like this little rope thing you pull to like like to block out the sun you know so just let me know um, two things a can they be electronically control where you press a button and then the shears just come down by themselves and b do all houses have like some kind of version of of like 
shears, blind shears that uh, are there on the outside of the house that cover the window um, and protect your house from like too much sunlight and stuff like that. Let me know in the comments down below. And we have never seen this before because back home, windows don't do this. Zach and I looked at each other. Well, I also mentioned a while back that uh, I lived in Chicago and the windows in the high rises do actually open like that. They do. That actually, I, I was, I wasn't surprised. That was the first time I ever opened up a window. But okay, so you know how you guys have that handle on the side, like that, like she just showed you, where you like turn it and stuff, and then the the window drops like that. So it's kind of like that, except the handle is not on the side. It's actually on the top of the window. So uh, and the windows are a bit lower. So the it the the handles on the top, and you turn the handle down, and then you pull it out, and then it just folds out a little bit and it lets some air in but our windows had like you know those little mesh nets that protected our house from bugs flying in and everything but i lived in the on the 50th floor so i mean the only bugs that was getting in were like flies or something or wasps that were very determined or maybe even birds that were like lost and couldn't find a way or something but yeah just let me know if you guys uh have something like that we didn't have any idea that this was a totally normal thing our realtor walked in the room and she started cracking up she was sure. like look this is how you do it one you can obviously that must be funny man like german realtors must get a kick every time they get like american buyers they're like <laughs> you don't know <laughs> you don't know huh <laughs> let me show you <laughs> <laughs> They're like, dang, bro. <laughs> like, yeah, watch this, watch this, watch this. <laughs> like, oh, do they have a... <laughs> Close. Two, you can open it if you want a lot of air coming in. Or if you just prop the top open, you can get a nice draft. And one more thing is the blinds. Here, it's just like this huge accordion. Oh, okay. Well, that's the first house I've seen blinds on the inside of a German house. That's crazy. Normally, I... From what I've seen, they've been on the outside, so that surprised me. Dang. And you just push it up and down, and it's super easy. Oh, but you push it up and down. You guys don't like... So we have a, a, a little lever thing. Like, we like... It's, it's so... Uh, I'm telling you, it's so... Uh, I have it right here, actually, in my room. I could show y'all, but then I'd have to get out of this scene on my... Well, anyways, there's like a little, like, rope thing you pull, and then the blinds go up, and then you have to pull to the side and then the blinds drop it's the most jank uh ever you know the front door what's different about the front door interesting oh locking and unlocking okay all right so we're outside right now uh, one thing that's different from america to germany is that the doors automatically lock here so they automatically lock I remember this being mentioned before, but I heard that you have to do it your you have to lock it yourself from the inside. I heard that you only have to lock one lock. He said they they automatically lock. Oh hell, I leave my keys in my house too much, bro. Too much. I have to put spare keys in all. Oh wait a minute, I can't say that. What the heck? I'm gonna break into my damn house. No, 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 never, never mind. Um, but I am gonna have to find an alternative to getting in my house when my when I get when I lock myself out. If you were to shut it, there's no like handle to twist to get in. So if you've got the key, you're stuck out here. Jeez, that's messed up. So how do you get into your house? Okay, story time. Your boy locked himself out of his house about, I'd say about six months ago, seven months, maybe eight months ago. Eight months ago, I locked myself out of my house. I was in a rush to go to the gym. I had my phone on me. I had my wallet on me and I, I closed my door. Normally I always turn the bottom lock to lock the door. The top lock is like a deadbolt. So you can't get in by any means. So the bottom lock you turn, um, it locks the door, but you can, there's, there's tips and tricks to break into somebody's house that they have only locked the bottom lock on their house. So I did that, closed the door, you know, check that it was locked. I'll go to my car. Now, of course, my car automatically unlocks when I get within close proximity of it, and my house keys are attached to that. And my car did not automatically unlock, and I'm like, uh, what's going on? Like, is my car broken? So I'll go in my, my pockets and try to reach for my keys, and lo and behold, they weren't there. They were inside my house, but guess what? My house was locked, so I'm like, oh no, oh, oh no. And guess what else? Your boy only had 5% battery, so I called a friend friend was too busy so i had one percent battery left because it's an iphone and you know iphone wants you to update to the latest model and they do not care about your battery life so i immediately called a uh a uh locksmith 
and the locksmith came over, opened my house door within like one minute of being there. Walked in there, boop, door was open. Had to pay him $300 for him opening my, my house door. So my question to you guys that concludes the story time is do you guys have locksmiths that are able to do the same thing or is that just not a thing? Are you just locked out for good? You have to break your window to get in? Like what happens when you lock yourself out of your house? And have any of you guys locked yourselves out of your house? That was my story. I want to hear yours in the comments down below. Hoita loita. No skin. <laughs> Did you get the key? You go back in. I don't have the key. Don't mess with me. Come on. Oh, dang. Voltages. The next big difference between American housing and German housing is the voltage. Oh, wait a minute. Dang, that's actually really important. So... Uh, this has been mentioned before too, but I can't remember if they have too much voltage or too little voltage. I'm gonna find out. So back in America, most electronics run at a 110 volt. Where at- Run 20, it's in Germany, right? 120? As in Germany, it is 220. What the fuck, dude? What the hell, dude? 220 my guy I thought it was 120 220 dude Oh heck you know y'all trying to fry everything that's crazy crazy 220 bro why y'all need that much electricity what y'all got out there that need that much electricity Y'all electric bills must be too dang much bro y'all electric bills must be too dang much 220? What? Oh, uh-uh. You must be paying an arm and a leg and a chair. For electricity, bruh. That's too much. That is too much. But I can promise you this. My phone about to be charged in three minutes, bruh. So a lot of our electronics actually don't work here unless we plug it into a transformer. Ah. Uh, that's what the... I thought the transformer was just to match the plug to the wall that's it that's what i that's the only thing i thought it transformed i thought the transformer just transformed the plug that was it i didn't realize it converted the energy to a more uh tolerable um you know output for our devices i didn't know that i'm sorry for the freak out to my light chili gone let's go low skits okay to transform the power from 110 voltage over to 220 but transformers run extremely expensive. Aren't they just converters? Can't you just convert that shit, bro? You just plug the dang thing in the wall. They're like $40 out here. Oh, wait. Are our transformers and converters different? Dang, this is coming from a radar technician, bro. I, don't, I can't let y'all know I do radar technician stuff, bro. Then y'all know I ain't good at my job, dang. Some electronics are dual voltage, and that means you can plug them into an American socket with the 110, or you could also plug them in to a German socket. So I have my handy dandy examples here. iPhone, man. That's why Apple is the best in the West. Okay, <laughs> and in the east, I guess, too. But dang, this is our laptop charger. You flick that up, and it is a typical American plug. Yep. So, if you wanted to use the universal one, you just shove it in there. So, there's a whole European side. Nice. So, all you do is flick that up. Oh, why y'all plugs look weird? Y'all plugs look weird, bro. Y'all plugs look weird. Ours is simple, man. Ours look like an like eyes and a mouth. You got two little slits and a... So you got the ground and then you got the, the little eyes and everything. Y'all got these weird, like, switchblade prong things that come out of you guys. Ugh. That's gross. But it's all good, I guess. That's, that's just weird, bro. Don't y'all got to twist it, too, to fit in the little socket? Ugh. And then you just go to the plug and you plug it in. All See how she had to do all that to put it in? Bruh, listen, America, you just go bloop, that's it. That's it, that's bloop, that's it. German plugs, man, I don't know what y'all got going on out there, bro. That's that's too much. That's too much. Just check if your electronics are dual voltage because if it's not and you plug it in, it can blow up. That's scary, bro. I'm not gonna hold you. That's scary. I need to go get myself a converter like ASAP Rocky. Like today, today. 
because I can't be I can't be having. Listen, if I buy an expensive because the computer I was planning on buying is like eight thousand dollars. Listen, if I buy an eight thousand dollar computer and that bit blow up, Jeremy go, Jeremy gonna be a memory, bro. <laughs> he gonna be a memory. I'm like, I, I'm calling the president. <laughs> Heating. Ooh. What's up, guys? It's getting a little cold in here. What's the temperature outside? Like 52 degrees, so that means that the house needs to be warmed up. So when he said 52 degrees, I know I had the Germans are like, what the <laughs> I know y'all know that we do things in Fahrenheit, but still, like he's in Germany, I thought they would be doing the Celsius thing by now because even I have to kind of like mentally convert into Celsius when I'm speaking with a lot of German people and stuff. I'm like, oh nah, like, like what is that in what is that in Celsius? Because I'm like, man, it was 90 degrees, man. And they're like, 90 degrees? How are you alive, my guy? How are you alive? 90 degrees Celsius? How are you not burnt, my guy? I'm like, bro, I'm black. <laughs> like, what y'all thought this was? Like, no, 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 no. But I. I I understand. I'm just surprised he didn't use Celsius, bro. Ehenman. <laughs> and unlike America, where you have the air vents and they just pump hot air into the house, True. in Germany you actually have these radiators and they're kind of scattered all through the house. It's called a radiator. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Wait, we have. So it depends. So Chicago has these radiators, man. Come to think of it, I'm pretty sure Chicago had a hell of German architects because we had radiators that looked exactly like that and like uh a lot of older style houses a lot of older style houses have those kinds of radiators so i've seen those before as well um, my uncle and i had to repair a few of them in people's houses growing up um but i think i did like i did like a boat tour in chicago just because i'm like whatever and it's when i was little and they i think they did mention that there were a lot of german architects that came over from germany and um they built a lot of the structures that are in chicago today so there is a strong german influence which is very interesting i didn't I'm, i guess it's all starting to come back to me now that's interesting i'm pretty sure yeah i thought it was just called a heater uh maybe i should look that up before we keep going or heater bro heater radiator saying dang dang bro yeah they radiate so yeah. as i was saying they radiate heat use these things uh and they heat up you gotta crank them all up and it kind of takes a while so but once it's warm Oh, it's warm. Okay, if you're trying to get up in your buns, you know what I'm saying? Make it all nice and cozy in the house. You gotta, you know, you let it let it chill for a little bit and boom, you know? The house is gonna feel like a pillow. A pillow. Okay, everywhere. Everywhere is a cloud. You're like, wow, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Instead, most houses have this. <laughs> we actually like to use our furnace because it heats up the house. Ah, jeez, that's the furnace? Ah, uh, nah, bro. I don't feel comfortable using that. I do not feel comfortable using the Even the furnaces, bro, here, I just don't feel comfortable using furnaces, bro. I feel like... I feel like... This, anything could accidentally happen. Bro. I watch too much Final Destination. That's what it is. Quicker. And... It's a little cheaper on the pockets. All right, so we'll go ahead and let that heat warm up here. Well, if that's the... Oh, they got a little door that closes to... Oh, okay. Well, they, they typically do. But some some furnaces don't, actually. I do know some houses that don't have that little glass door that closed. Because this basically looked like an oven. Like, <laughs> high key, this looked like a little oven that you just can't put food in. Wait a minute, you can. You can make s'mores. But I wonder if, like, you would catch some weird disease or something. Because, like, isn't it, like, you put, like, some, some weird... There's like the wood is different or something like that. Maybe it's the same wood. I don't know. Maybe you can actually make s'mores in this. Have you guys tried to make s'mores in your furnace before? Because, I mean, they're good. That's good. Like, real good. You should try it. Wait, you have the rest of your points to make before you do that. <sighs> okay, on to my next point. <laughs> Faucet water. Is it drinkable? Is the faucet water drinkable? That's all I care about, cause I'm faucet water gang for life. Faucet water gang, where my faucet water gang at? Everybody in the chat right now, faucet water gang. Oh, not seltzer water gang. We're faucet water gang over here, okay? Faucet water gang. Let's go. Let's see if they got it. Faucet water gang or seltzer water gang? Let's go. All this filming and hard work has got me kind of thirsty, so we're gonna move on to my next point. Walk out, shot. Walk, walk. <laughs> One of the first things we actually were told when we first came to Germany 
was how good and how high quality the water is because it's under law they treat it as food. So food has Ooh, they treat water as essence. Okay, they treat water as essence. Let go. So that means the water out there, but smack is good. You know what I'm saying? It tastes, it tastes good. lecker. Very high standards it has to pass in order to be served or prepared now. So water actually here is very high quality. I don't know if Germans drink out of the faucet, but you guys got some good faucet water. Woo! That's all I needed to know. Now I'm booking a flight to Germany. I'm trying you guys' water. Oh my God. That's all I needed to know. So, so faucet water game for life, man. Faucet water squad. Where's my faucet water squad? Stay hydrated, faucet water squad. Let's go. Mmm. Mmm, that look good. Man, he look, make it look good. Make it look good. Faucet water squad. Fridge freezer sizes. Interesting. Let me see this. I do not know the sizes of the fridge and freezers out there. Okay, let's play a game behind which of these. Oh, wait! That looks nice as hell. Uh, first off, it doesn't matter which one is which. That looks modern, bro. Like modern, modern. That's like some Frank Lloyd Wright type stuff. Okay. Okay. I could get with that. That's actually quite tough. I, li I like this look. Fours is the fridge and freezer. I'm gonna say the fridge is on the left hand side, the freezer is on the top above the oven, which makes no sense, but I'm gonna just say that because that's probably true. Is it A, B, C, D? Fridge is on the left by C, A is the freezer. Bottom handle or F? A, B, C, D? I mean E. Or F, is it a trick question? Is this even the fridge? Vote up here what your answer is. I'll give you guys a- It's a freezer, it's a freezer, it's a freezer! Five more seconds. It's a freezer! It's a freezer! And the answer is- It's a freezer! Is... C. I'm uh, door number C. Wait, that's- That's the fridge, that's the, that's the fridge. That's the fridge. I was right about the fridge. I was right about the fridge. So the fridge is right, let's go. It's definitely right. Anyways, so about here down is the standard size for a fridge back in America. Or what I used to think was a really small freezer back in the day is you still have that big fridge and then on the bottom section is the freezer. And that is considered a small freezer in America. Well, let me show y'all small. This is about a standard size fridge in Germany. I think, comment below if I'm wrong. And up here, that's pretty big. This tiny little compartment is the freezer. What the? Heck? What? That's it? What y'all be freezing, parents? Y'all don't be freezing nothing out there. <laughs> y'all say the winters is good enough, G. The winters is good enough, man. We freeze our food outside, my guy. That freezer little as hell. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's gotta, there gotta be more to that, bro. Uh, what the, bro, if you see, I'm gonna do a house tour and show you guys my freezer, cause that ain't right, bro. That's not right, bro. That's... I'm gonna close this to save some energy. I touched up on the freezers a little bit in my German grocery store. Please tell me that what I, th I thought was a freezer is a freezer. That would be tight. That would be tight. Let's just say that's just an addition to the fridge. That would be okay. That's where you put your ice tray and stuff. But there could be another freezer. I'm gonna leave my mind open to that. Yeah. And hope. yeah, now you guys see for yourselves. That little ad thing was a freezer? That's it? What? I didn't know that. I, yo, listen, that's kind of bothersome a little bit, man. I'm not gonna hold you, man. What am I gonna do with all my frozen chicken? Do I just not have frozen chicken? Do I just put it in the fridge and like cook it on site? What if I wanna plan months and months ahead? What if some crazy stuff happened? And I'm like, dang, I don't wanna go grocery store. Oh wait, I did buy that chicken seven months ago and it's frozen, so it's preserved. So let me go ahead and thaw it out, cook some chicken. Like, what am I gonna do? Oh, Y'all got room for maybe one pigeon in there. That's it, one frozen pigeon. That's literally it and maybe like a cube of ice. That's too small. That's too small, man. I don't know, man. I look kind of sus today, bro. Trash. Oh man, Korea was kind of a pain in the butt about trash, bro. Y'all want us to file trash away like it's filing cabinets. It's just like, 
we need you to separate your garbage by date and order of importance. Okay, so if you unbox the computer that goes in the computer box trash can, if you unboxed some McDonald's, that's a McDonald's trash can, Burger King, uh, Chipotle, and all that good stuff, bro. <laughs> I'm kidding. Basically, it's like recycling. Uh, I think w the waste is also separated into like food waste and like paper waste. Oh, it's just different, you know. So one thing that we have to do before we go to bed, because we forgot this plenty of times, mm -hmm. is we have to check on our little schedule what trash we take out because mm. here in Germany, it's not necessarily you just throw all your trash in a dumpster and you That's what I would do, man. I'm too tired, dog. If I'm, if I gotta, listen, that's why I feel like on, 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 in general, the average German's probably 10 times smarter than the average American. Like, you guys will be half asleep, you're like, uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. Separating all your trash. I would grab the whole thing and be like, yeet! Like, that would be pretty much it, man. They magically take it. Every week, they actually switch up what trash you're taking out. So it could be anything from your normal trash, like all the food you throw away, everything like that. You have tin, any kind of aluminum or plastics they take out. Mm -hmm. And then you got like paper recycling. So let's go see what we have to take out today. So every household will get like a letter and number combination. Bro, I swear to God, why is it like every time? Oh, oh, that's something I'm gonna have to get used to, bro. Like throwing out trash is like playing Mortal Kombat back in like the 1990s, where they had those 20 button combinations and stuff like that to get the uh, finishing move. Man, look, that's a lot of stuff to worry about, bro. To keep the world safe, bro. That's why the world the way it is, man. You got people like me that say, "Hey, put it all in one can, bro. Put it all in one can, bro. I don't care, dog. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> say the what? Nah, man. Just throw that in the. <laughs> and there, you check the date, and we'll go on here, and we'll see C and two. So tomorrow is Gelbosake. I don't know how to pronounce Gilbus. that. I do know that's plastics and aluminum. So this is where we keep oh, all our Gilbusak. plastics in. So Gelbasak is like a yellow, the yellow bag. So the gel, Gelba just means yellow, bro. Like that's what it means. It just means yellow, my guy. Like look at this sheet. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, yeah. I meant to say. Er. Okay, so right here is yellow. Like this right here is yellow. This right here is rot, and this right here is schwarz. You know what I'm saying? Schwarz, right there. Schwarz, schwarz, rot. Und uh, gelb. That's why it says Gelbazak. You know what I'm saying? Gelbazak is like yellow trash day. Good thing that that's getting taken out because it See? is cool. Yeah. And they actually give you the special trash bag. See? So you can't go wrong. Yellow it shows side. you actually keep everything. It, yo, Germany, what I learned about y'all is y'all have to keep it simple but complicated. So y'all keep it simple. Like, the names of your stuff is simple. It's like, dang, what's the name of that hospital again? It's called Health Place. Help place, we help you. Yeah, and I'm like, oh damn, okay, help. You, know, you can throw away in there from Ooh. like milk cartons to aluminum foil. Yeah. I don't, who actually like carries the trash like this though? Me. <laughs> it's like you carry like Santa Claus. <laughs> Why would it leak? Well, it's recycles. Recyclables. Well, it would leak because someone decided to leave some vasa, you know what I'm saying? They vasa bottle, you know what I'm saying? It, that, it happens. Oh, God, that's nasty. I, story time. So I had to take out the trash for work. And there's, I wish people took recycling more seriously. As ironic as that sounds for me going on my rants about not caring about the environment. Um, people are throwing away their monster cans in the garbage can half full mixed with all the other regular trash. So I went to take the trash out and all down the middle of my back was a monster dripping from the bag. All of my, it, disgusting. Okay, that's, that's enough story times for today. <laughs> yes, sir. That's, a, wait, that's it? That's it? You don't have an actual garbage can you can put that in? Cause that's just, Bro, that's a problem waiting to happen, bro. What if like a bear sneaks into your yard and opens that up, and now you got a mess you got to clean up all in the morning? Like, uh, that's that's weird, man. There's a lot of listen. This this is what we needed to be reacting to, dog. Because oh, I'm seeing a different side of Germany, man. 
Jeez, bro. The, honestly, one of the biggest differences was the freezer and the dang trash, bro. I didn't think that they, they had specific different days for each trash. I thought like you just separated them and they all take it out at once. That would make the most sense. And then the, the trash man would just separate the trash like we would be separating the trashes in our homes. That makes sense. Or what would make more sense is you have three different types of uh, tr uh, um, trash trucks that drive by and pick up different trucks. So you set all three bags out one, one or two days out of the week. Let's say two days out of the week, you set all three different types of trash out or five however many y'all got and then um in the morning it'll be like the gelb sack and later on it'll be the green sack later on it'll be the blue sack you know what i'm saying or the azul or whatever blau blau sack you know what i'm saying so like, i guess that would be nice that would be cool you know that's what i thought but i mean i guess i'm wrong let me know in the comments down below how, if you guys like this video i learned a lot today and um i'm one step closer to becoming german you know i'm gonna switch my ethnicity because i got magical abilities that just work like that but it's been a pleasure and a privilege to the pearl brother i can't even speak english today a pleasure and a pleasure <laughs> I can't talk. It's been a pro. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's been a pleasure and a privilege reacting to this with you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm gonna see you guys. Well, well, well. What a pleasure it is to see all of your beautiful faces at the end of this lovely video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm sure you know, as I've mentioned in the past, we do have a Discord that's linked in the description down below, and we would love to have you a part of the world's greatest community ever. Bray Gang. Yes, if you've made it to this point in the video, you're officially a part of the community. So go ahead, join the Discord server. Link is in the description down below. And we also have other social media as well, like Instagram, Twitter, we're live. We, we go live on Twitch quite, quite often as well. So I, it would behoove you to, you know, go ahead and subscribe to the Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash James Bragging. Join the cause and be a part of the greatest, literally the greatest community ever. Okay? It's simple. Just go ahead and do those little things. We're trying to grow on all these little platforms and everything, and it really means a lot. Now, I know you guys stumbled up across the channel, and you're like, what does this guy post? Like, what kind of content does he post? Reactions, vlogs, pretty much whatever comes to my mind. All right, it's random content. I don't know what I'm gonna be posting 10 years from now, but I do know that you can stick along for the journey, and it really means a lot. Now, for every single person that subscribes and follows, all of the accounts that I have made, and the, all the links will be in the description down below, that's an automatic entry for any future giveaways I decide to have. I'll remind you when the giveaways take place, but you'll be surprised what I will be giving away because you guys have supported me so much up to this point, and it's only right that I do the same thing back. Thank you guys so much for being amazing, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Peace.